Hello everyone. Let's see how my particle swarm optimization, or PSO, for constrained optimization problems works. This particle swarm optimization is coded in MATLAB, and its performance has been validated by comparing the obtained results with the well-known benchmark. If you want to download the MATLAB code of this PSO, please check the link in the video description. This video is made to respond to a request by one of our viewers, as shown in this email. Thank you very much for your support and suggestion. Here are the details of the constrained optimization problem to be solved in this video. As we can see, this is a minimum optimization problem with two constraints, one constraint is nonlinear, and another one is linear. In addition, the proven global optimal solution is shown here and to be used as our benchmark to test our particle swarm optimization algorithm. Did you know that particle swarm optimization is the second most popular stochastic optimization algorithm for solving the complex large-scale optimization problems, as shown in this figure? Only genetic algorithm is more popular, based on statistics data on Scopus database. Here are some basic working principles of particle swarm optimization. Particle swarm optimization solves an optimization problem by having a population of candidate solutions, called particles, and moving these particles around in the search space of the optimization problem, using a simple mathematical formula, related to the particle's position and velocity. Each particle's movement is influenced by its local best known position, but is also guided toward the best known positions in the search space, which are updated as better positions are found by other particles. This is expected to move the swarm toward the best solutions. This working principle of particle swarm optimization is illustrated by the simulation. Now, let's see my MATLAB code of particle swarm optimization algorithm and how it works. More importantly, please see how to customize this code to solve a new problem.